Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about offset. Offset's a great tool because it lets you take a face and grab some or all of the edges and move them. You move them in to make a, a you know, offset inwards or, or take them out to make a shape larger. Uh, it's a really cool tool and it's a quick way to break up a surface. And we're taking a look at how to use it right now. All right, so first thing we're taking a look at is how to use the tool with different input methods. So we'll start, we're going to preference and we'll use the pencil in just draw mode. So here I have a surface and I'm going to go into offset. Offset's not part of the default toolbar. You do have to hit the little ellipse at the bottom and choose offset right here. And with just draw mode, I'm basically going to touch the screen on a face and just drag the edge in. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right, I'm going to come in here, tap, and then just pull that edge right in like that. I do the same thing. I can take that edge and I can push it outward. Just touch, drag, lift up. Pretty simple, easy way to do it. If I am using the pencil, but I'm in click, move, click, very similar, just uh, it ends up being a hard press and then a hard press again to offset. In or out, same thing, works exactly, pretty much the same, just a hard press rather than touch. But let's say magically you have lost your pencil, oops, uh, and you want to do this offsetting, you can do the same thing with your finger. Again, if I'm in a shape, I just can do a long press and then drag and release. And I do that offset, pretty simple. And then finally, of course, if you have your buddy the mouse over here, it's click, move, click, click, move, click. Pretty simple. Uh, this, this, for everything I did right here, I just did the whole, the whole thing. I just did all of it. You can, of course, come in and I'm going to go ahead and switch back to just draw because I like it better. And you can come in and select geometry first. So say I only want to offset uh, like these two edges maybe. So I'm going to select this edge and then add this edge. And then when I click offset, now I'm just dragging those two edges. So it doesn't have to be your entire face. That's just the default if you don't pre-select anything. Let's look at a couple other examples. Uh, so here I have a circle. And this, I could offset this a couple different ways also because I could come in and say, I want to take this, this whole, whoops, I already got pre-selected geometry. I got to turn off over there. Uh, if I come in here and offset the whole thing, I'm going to get, you know, mini Pac-Man's happening on the inside. But watch what happens when I drag past the point where those two edges connect. See that? It's not going to let you have a, a edge drawing that crosses over itself. It'll always clean it up. So same thing over here. If I grab this, this shape right here and I pull it in, eventually that little box on the edge disappears and I get it's two smaller pieces. So it's not going to ever let geometry cross over or anything like that. Uh, likewise, over here, if I wanted to, if I just wanted to offset the outside, I could select that first and then push, pull, pull it in. And I have a, now I have a true mini Pac-Man as opposed to a couple of lemon wedges. All right. One last thing I want to look at is this right here. If I come in and I just go into offset, I'm going to turn everything else off. I just come in to offset and I start offsetting on, on one of these shapes, I'm just going to be pulling one face at a side. So at a time, excuse me. Even if I come in here and say I was to, you know, select everything, when I click offset, see how it all turned off? I can't offset more than a single face at a time. That's the most I can offset. I can grab a couple of edges, but likewise, I can't say uh, grab this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and I'm going to offset. Same thing, it's going to turn everything off because the only thing I can, the only time I can have multiple edges is if they're all coplanar, if they're all on the same face. They have to be not coplanar, cone face. So they have to all be on a single face to offset them at the same time. But if I did want to do the same offset on each of these sides, what I could do, I could come to offset grab one of these faces, pull it in, and then come over here and double tap. Come here, double tap. Double tap or double click with the mouse or double tap with your finger is offset the same amount as last time. So it's gonna give you the exact same offset, even though I can't, you know, I can't do it all in one. I can't just select it and offset all of them at the same time, but I can just double tap and it quickly does that same 
offset on all the faces. So that right there is the essence of offset. Hopefully that made sense and hopefully that uh, helps you if you've, if you've struggled at all with offset, like why is a piece offsetting now? Why can't I use it on these two lines at the same time? Uh, you do have to have, uh, like I said, everything has to be on one face if you're gonna offset it and you can only offset pieces that come from the same face. So that's how offset works. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.